While everyone else is reviewing Immaculate with Sydney Sweeney this weekend, looking back now, I should have too. Instead, I thought I would be the odd god out and reviewing something with bigger guns. Bigger. Fun bags. And more skin than Buffalo Bill could lather up. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. In this modern version of a grindhouse, none revenge movie that has more name tags to distinguish gang members than your local meet and greet. I'm talking about 2010's Nude Nuns with Big Guns. Revenge films are a dime a dozen. And if I had to make a bold statement, I'd probably say one of the most overused subgenres ever. I'm fine with that, because this god has seen a trunk full. So a piece of friendly advice, if I might, from an old school filmmaker to anyone making these flicks nowadays. No longer than an 80 minute runtime, especially if 65% of your movie is this. Don't get me wrong, I love a good grindhouse movie with a jug band. <laughs> But holy heck, even that could get boring when it's every seven minutes drawn out to do nothing but burn screen time. Especially when head baddie President Chavos, who's supposed to be hunting down the gun-toting nun, Sister Sarah. I don't have that kind of money. Hey, Padre, don't fuck with me. I've already lost two men in your holy war. Who's managed to clean every pastor's clock throughout Southern California. But instead, him and his goon squad count dough get down and dirty multiple times throughout, contributing zero purpose to the plot. They never accomplish anything they are tasked to do, and when they actually step up, they're all blown away in the last seven minutes. Chavos and his goons already knew who the nun was. Chavos shot her, kept her drugged up, and used her for happy fun time with clients. Then his witch doctor takes her away to heal her Michael Myers style. This was all due to the padre from the opening, deciding to use her as a tether ball who after his own head is bashed in by Chavos for, quote, damaging the merchandise, he pops up at the very end as a cameo of who will be the next assassin to go after Sister Sarah. You waste 80 minutes of zero plot progress to have this guy come at the end? If new nuns with big guns shave 15 minutes at least off its one hour, 31 minute runtime and connected some of the obvious plot holes a bus could drive through, this could have been a tad more fun. I did like the lead actress, Asun Ortega, and the overall look they gave her for the gun-toting nun. She's pretty badass, but felt it was highly wasted here. There was a chuckle moment and a lot of huzz. So I'll leave you with one of my favorite pieces of trivia from their IMDB page. I think Gary made the right choice. So if you're into lots of jiggle and have a fetish for ball-busting grindhouse style nun flicks with bad habits, then this sacrament is for you. Until next time. It's so important that you need to wake me up in the middle of the morning. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, you stupid bitch. So click links below to be notified. Many thanks for the support and hail Cthulhu.